So, bro, bro, um, says, some think Arianism survived and influenced early Islam. Um, well, it did. I mean, Arianism, even though it basically just began with the controversy at Nicaea, really, or that was in the early stages of it, Arius was propagating this nonsense before. That's what kind of caused the Council of Nicaea. Um, but it really kind of flourished afterwards. Where it really caught hold was in the Germanic regions outside of the empire, um, among the Goths and the Vandals. Uh, <clears throat> and there was, I mean, when Islam took over North Africa, there was almost certainly uh, Aryans there, as well as Spain, because uh, it was in Spain, I believe Toledo, that the Filioquate was born to defeat um, the Aryans, who were still trying to get into the church yet be Aryan at the same time. There were definitely Donatists there that got wiped out. And I mean, that's what really closed the book on a lot of those different, uh, you know, parallel churches like the Gnostics, different Gnostic groups, Judaizer groups, um, Aryans, you're, you're right, uh, and the Donatists. But it was Warak bin Nofal, who I believe was Muhammad's uncle or uncle-in-law, who was a, they, the sources say, he, some say he was an Ebionite, others say he was an Aryan, that said, no, 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 uh, you weren't attacked by a demon, you, those were, that was from God. So, yeah, there was an early um, Aryan-like Christian um, that, uh, that influenced early Islam, at least according to Islam, the, the, uh, the Sunni sources, but even beyond that, I think it even gets, you know, when you go into actual history, that early heresies of Christianity really influenced Islam, or what would be called the Saracens, which turned into Islam. I can speak more on this if you want me to. I can go into more into this. Um, just uh, let me know. Peace to you.